Hey what's up, so this is going to be the first in a few videos that I'm going to be making I'm going to be talking about client sites, specifically the first set of client sites that I built We'll go through, I'm going to aim for the first five So we're going to cover how I won the project, what I learned in terms of web development What I learned in terms of project management the mistakes that I made and how I got the project going because that can be a sticking point when you're getting started. Do you get them on Skype? Do you what questions do you ask them? That kind of thing. So let's take a look at the first site I ever made in exchange for money. And that's the one thing I don't have permission to talk about the monies that were exchanged, but everything else. I'm going to share with you and hopefully it's going to help you. And here it is in its present day form. It's of course it's evolved over the past three, almost four years. There's this very useful website. It's like a time machine so you can see what the website looked like five years ago. It takes screenshots but sometimes it just grabs the CSS and the HTML but every so often it should um, not just take a screenshot, actually it drags in the images as well. But anyway, here it is. How did I win the project? Well, if you're familiar with some of my story, you'll know that I won it on elance.com. It's now called upwork.com. When I was contemplating getting into this game, I would listen to a lot of podcasts and they would often say get onto elance.com and bid for some projects so i just took them up on the advice i approached it like a job every night for an hour and a half sometimes two hours i would spend bidding on projects but i wouldn't just bid on any old projects i looked for areas where i felt like i could make a connection with the client for example i worked as a fitness instructor for eight years so occasionally i would come across uh, people wanting a gym website yoga instructors that kind of thing and then i found Leia, and i in my proposal made that connection because she was working as a nutritionist as a coach helping you with your nutrition and it's something that i'm kind of interested in so i mentioned a few things said yeah i read these kind of books and i'd be really excited to help you with your project that kind of thing and out of all of the other people that bid i think there were about maybe 12 10 to 12 other bidders, the majority from I think India, Ukraine, the other areas, I won the project. So the first thing I did was I arranged for a Skype call and my approach to it, I approached it like a doctor on call. What do I mean by that? Like I didn't have any work-life balance at this time in my life because I knew I had to win clients, I had to build my client base, so I went all out. I made sure every email, I made damn sure that I replied to that email as quickly as humanly possible. And if it was something that I couldn't deal with there and then, I would still reply back and say, hey, I've got your email, can't get to it right now, I'm out of the office, but as soon as I get back, I'm going to look into it. That kind of thing. So that I can't stress enough how important that is. So on the Skype meeting, I learned about their tastes, sent them a link to the Adobe Color website, it said pick out some colors, let me know what fonts you're interested in, send me all of the content you've got, pictures, copy, that kind of thing. And I said at the end of the call, you know, thank you, I'm gonna treat your website as though it were my own. And, and that's how I got the ball rolling. Now, at this point, I the, the job was to get their, their website was built with WordPress.com. It was a blog. And so they wanted to, rather than having, they wanted to host it themselves. Rather than having WordPress forward slash layer.com, they wanted it just to be their name 
blog.com so I had to migrate the blog onto a self-hosted copy of WordPress and I'd never done that before and this reminds me of the interview I did with uh, Timothy Peacock. He learned by necessity and that's what I did. I learn on the go. So in those situations, Google is your friend, Stack Overflow, um, those, that's the main forum where I would get a lot of my answers from. And so I didn't know how CSS floats worked. So I would be have I'd have an image here, I'd have some text there and the text was ending up under the image and and so I learned a lot on, on this project. Now I made a lot of mistakes. Let's, I want to show you this now. Okay, look at this. Okay, what are you looking at here? I don't know what's gone on with the Wayback Machine here, but you can see I've got three copies of Get Your Free Guide for a Well-Fed Body. These are images. I was using images where I should have been using text. I used images for the buttons when I should have built those buttons programmatically. So that's a rookie error uh, that I made. I learned about media queries and I learned the importance of Git. I was writing out these media queries and I'm making a change, looking at it in the browser, and my layout was going nuts. And I couldn't make head nor tail of it, and I was panicking. It turned out I'd missed out a semicolon somewhere, and that I don't know how that led me to find out about Git and version control, but from then on, I always would make sure I would use version control. So I'm going to talk about Git in uh, the tutorial series that I'm doing. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. So that's coming up in the future. The, the other thing I've, I made a mistake on is I took their logo and I redesigned their logo without them asking me to. I saw the logo I thought, yeah, I think I can improve that. And I, I put the new logo up on there. And then I thought to myself, wait, hold on here. Ask them at least ask them if they like what I did. So, and that's what I did. I said, hey, you know, I, I changed your logo. I felt like I could improve it, but I don't know if it's to your liking. And they got back to me. They said, hey, you know what, Mike? I like what you've done, but I feel like it's not quite me. Can we go with the original logo? I said, sure, fine. We can go with that and uh, job done. So always ask for feedback first because the client knows what they want. Yes, if we really feel very strongly about something, maybe we feel like their idea isn't the isn't going to uh, give the best user experience, then yes, we need to um, put our point across, but it is their website, they're paying the money, so they need to feel good and happy. They're gonna be the ones that are responsible for promoting it. So they need to feel good and happy about what it is that they're promoting. So that's something I learned. The other rookie mistake I made is, and I don't know why I did this, I had them transfer the domain over to me. So I had the domain in my hosting account and I hosted the website for them. Don't do that they should have control of the domain. By all means, if you wanna host the website, if you wanna open up what's called a reseller account and receive a kickback, by all means, but the client should have control of the domain name. So the way I would approach it now is you say, hey, these are the hosts, the registrars that I believe are good. Uh, pick whichever one you want or go with another, set up the account and then set me up as a user. If you go with one of the reputable registrars, give them a call, they will help you to set up the developer as, as an admin. And so therefore they give you a login and you can't make purchases with that login, but you can set up servers and hosting and uh, all of that kind of thing. So that's how you would approach it now. So what did I use to build this site? I used a theme over at Elegant Themes. 
their flagship themes right now are Divi and Extra. They've come an awful long way in the past three years. Um, so yeah, I used a WordPress theme. I got familiar with WordPress, its quirks, and not all of it, but uh, by building a project, you really do learn an awful lot. This here, for example, I had to dig into the PHP, the header.php file to make a change here. And with these, I was quite proud about these little icons that I made, they were custom. Now, this was the first website I ever built. So naturally, it wasn't very lucrative, okay? But what I learned, transferring that blog over became really valuable because what happened further down the line, met a client, they had a lot of resources, they had their own staff. And so I, we did a project, me and a designer. And later on, I said, hey, why don't you transfer your blog over? I knew what I was talking about, I've done it before. And so what you learn, you never know what you learn on your first project, your first couple of projects can become very, very valuable further on down the line. So from the, from the beginning, it doesn't, don't expect your first projects to be lucrative or even profitable. And so that and your attitude towards the project, I went above and beyond what they expected from me. And it ended up in me getting recommendations. After the project, a month, a couple of months after, I'd start getting these emails saying, hey, Mike, I told you about my friend. Um, she's a, an actress. She'll be contacting you. I met a yoga instructor and uh, would ultimately meet my current business pa partner, Luigi. He's a very talented graphic designer and I'm helping him to build his uh, digital agency together, which we're gonna be relaunching soon and I'll tell you all about it, you'll be the first to know. So that put me in good stead. I hope you got something from that. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I took a website from this when they approached me to this. We'll get into that on the next one. Hope you got something from this. I'll catch you later. Thanks for all your support, all your feedback. Take care, <laughs> see you later, peace. Before you go, I just want to let you know about Team Treehouse. It's where I'm learning JavaScript right now. They'll take you from beginner level all the way to professional from HTML, CSS, and then on to JavaScript if you want, or Python, PHP. They've got pretty much everything here, man. Look at this, C Sharp, Android, iOS. Um, I actually built an iPhone app with the help of Team Treehouse. I'm currently doing their full stack JavaScript track. So uh, for $25 per month, you get all of those tracks on there. So uh, go have a look, see what you think. They've got tech degrees as well, which I think is a good alternative to a boot camp. If you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on a boot camp, have a look at the tech degree. There's a free trial, so you've nothing to lose by trying it out. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below. So please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm documenting my learning journey over on my website. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. This goes all the way back to 2015. There are gaps where I was just so busy I wasn't coming back to doc document it, but I, I will be from now on. I've made a promise to myself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting what I do. Catch you on the next one. Peace.